There is a key constant among some of the most successful entrepreneurs that I know of, and that is doing more with less. Meaning they find efficient tools or create systems in their businesses that allow them higher output of whatever it is they do, thereby being able to maximize their profits. If you're a nail tag or an aspiring one, your output is being able to either see more clients to increase your revenue or to be able to do more during a client's nail service in the same or less amount of time to increase your profit. Now, I wanna be clear, this is not about being rushed. This is about being efficient, meaning not being wasteful of our time and rather working in a well-organized, competent way. Today, we'll be talking about what those efficient tools and systems can be in your business so that your business runs like a well-oiled machine, getting you to your higher revenue goals with less effort. All right, and if you are new here, welcome. My name is Paola of paolaponsenails.com and I help you specialize in the use of soft gel nail systems for all of your nail services as an independent nail stylist. If this sounds like a niche you like to continue exploring, then at the end of this video, do consider subscribing. As we go through the five tools, I want you to really hone in on the thought of decluttering your physical space and your mind. For me, it is simple. Cluttered spaces create cluttered minds and cluttered minds create inefficient decisions that end up costing you a real amount of dinero. Tool number one, your nail desk. Yes, your nail desk is a big tool that needs to be organized in the best way to make your work efficient. Here's how it can help you do that because if you have to wonder where your tools are at or how to adjust your equipment so that it is comfortable for you and your client at the time of the service, then yes, we got problems and you are not being efficient. So let's start with this. First, are you lefty or righty? Depending on your dominant hand, this is where all of your most used tools are going to sit. For example, your nail caddy and eval, these need to be quick grabs because your muscle memory will favor reaching for things with the hand you are most dominant with. So do note that tip. Now, I won't go exactly into all the ways to organize your desk as we just did a full video on that about two uploads ago. So check that out in our video archives after this video. But the second most important thing you should organize as easy access on your nail desk to be able to service your clients efficiently is having your nail art items within reach. So maybe on your less dominant hand, especially those items that you know how to confidently apply like quick because they will be your easiest upgrades on nail services. If you have an extra 15, 10 minutes, you can probably apply those and make an extra 15, 20 bucks. Sounds pretty efficient to me. For me, those nail art items were chrome pigments and striping tape, like easy upgrades to like any nail service. And they're low commitment. Your client was like, yeah, I'll try that. But you can also have your sticker book nearby as I found that clients love stickers as a fun, quick look, but not intimidating enough for them to opt out of it. And if it's on a book, it's so easy for them to look through while you're servicing them. Again, talk about efficiency. But in essence, you get the point. You will have a highly efficient nail desk when everything you need to do your client's nails is only within hands reach, arms reach, meaning you don't have to get up for it. That is not efficient. Tool number two, a nail e-file. A nail e-file is the best way to upgrade your services and it is quite efficient. Now I wanna be clear, newbie nail techs do not practice using the e-file on your clients. Give e-file technique time to mature in your nail business and your muscle memory. Don't immediately jump into it you can really cause some harm. Practice it on yourself, a model, and take training. We personally tailor a curriculum for a soft gel nail specialist that focuses on care for the natural nail when using an e-file. I'll drop a link to that program in the description box below if you need it. But here are the three ways an e-file makes your business more efficient. Number one, it thoroughly removes all cuticle off of the nail plate, making it the most guaranteed way to eliminate lifting issues at the cuticle area. Number two, it speeds up gel removals at least twice as fast. The general average for removing gel enhancements is 15 to 20 minutes, but you can cut that time in half when you are properly trying to remove the gel fully with an eval. It also makes that time predictable. When you're doing a soak off, you're like, I think it's gonna be 15 to 20 minutes and it might be a very difficult one and it can take you a very long time. But the thing about the eval is that it's going to keep your time consistent. Like we're talking 10 minutes like for every gel removal within 
a certain length. Number three, when you have upgraded skills, you can upgrade your prices. And having eval technique in your repertoire is definitely one of the top ways to increase your bottom line. For example, if you are trained in an eval and you offer eval prep for your nail services as standard procedure, the price of your nail services should reflect that. The techniques you learn cost time and the tools you use for those techniques also cost money. Real quick, we still have space in our upcoming bootcamp. What? Why haven't you registered? It starts tomorrow and there's still seats available. Now, if you're in our email list, then you already know about Confidently Booked, my three-day live bootcamp for the aspiring soft gel specialist. I will be live with you for three days starting tomorrow, basically helping you structure your nail business for success. If you wanna master monthly wearing gel nails, know how to price your nail services, and find out more about how to implement content creation into your business, this is a must attend. I'll also be breaking down all of the details of MGM Pro, my upcoming group coaching experience, which closes for enrollment this coming Friday. The confidently booked bootcamp I'm hosting in the next three days is only $27. And if you need clarity and structure in your nail business, you cannot afford to miss this. You can afford those $27. If you cannot attend live, there will be recordings for the sessions, don't worry. All right, back to the video. Tool number three, a content creation mount. So many new nail stylists I'm learning by polling you on Instagram. If you're not following us there, make sure you are. You're already considered diving into content creation this year, which is why we're adding this topic to our upcoming bootcamp and it's already part of the MGM Pro program. But the first best thing you can do is start shopping for a quality phone mount. Content creation as a nail tech to post on Instagram does not have to be difficult at all because you have regularly scheduled content every time you see a client. And new nail ideas just flourish when you are actively working on your clients. So it is the best time to have your mount. And I recommend you keep your phone there unless you really need it so that you just go like, oop, can I just you know, get a glimpse of that. Now, I know your client is not in for a demo. It really is her service. And I am not saying you should invade everyone's appointment for a snippet of their service. But believe me, there are so many willing participants among your clientele. Just pick the right ones and always ask if it's okay if you grab a minute or two of recording for your business. A lot of them will say yes. And they like to be featured on your Instagram. So that's even more of a reason why they say yes. I found that my clients were super excited to be on my Instagram. So that might be the same thing for you. So what mount is a good mount? Oh my gosh, beware, okay? The best mount is one that is solid and will not wobble around. That is probably the most annoying thing with mounts, that they wobble. One very popular one among nail artists is the Archon mount. This is a small business and I do recommend that you look into them first before Amazon. Now from Amazon, unfortunately, I've only shopped wobbly gooseneck ones, which I highly recommend you avoid. Now I got a very sturdy one, but it actually just kind of goes with my system. Here's part of that maker. If you're interested, you can let me know in the comment section. But something like this from Amazon is a good option. Having this always at your table, whatever mount you choose, is going to ensure that you're always ready to record and you're never running out of ideas of what to post. Pool number four, step-by-step -step systems for applying all of your core nail services. Now I get it, this is not necessarily a tangible tool, right, like a mount, unless you're in our MGM course where we actually do give you printable checklists. But nevertheless, it is also important to have a step-by-step -step system when doing any nail service. Yes, creating and memorizing a step-by-step -step system of application for all of your services is super important for maximum efficiency in your business. Remember, being efficient is not being wasteful of our time and rather working in a well-organized, competent way. So right now, fast, what are your steps for a gel manicure or a gel rebalance? You gotta know this like turning on your car and putting it in reverse to back out of your driveway. For me, Client comes in for a rebalance. Hi, let's look at your nails. What are we doing today? Single color? Okay, nice. Are we cutting them? No, okay. What shape? Stiletto. Oh, you bad girl. From that small efficient talk, it was personable, it was fun. We move on to EFA removal, cuticle work, shaping, base gel application, structure gel application, final shaping, color, and top gel. All of your core services should be efficiently memorized in your mind in that way. Tool number five, a simplified booking software solution. 
When I worked full time in the salon, even after being booked solid, I relied heavily on an online booking software. When it comes to online booking, do not overcomplicate this. You need a software that allows you to book your client and charge your client all in one platform. I think because we are nail size and not technology gurus, at least not many of us, we often don't pay attention to what technology we actually need to be able to transact in our business. Again, Booking and payment transactions should be synced up in the same platform for, you guessed it, maximum efficiency. Do not invest in a merchant processor and then a booking software separately. This is not efficient as you will be looking in two different places for your client's records and it's definitely not cost effective having to afford both merchant processing fees and a booking software membership. One benefit of having your client's records all in one place is being able to see who your most valuable payers are. Just saying, if that matters to you. I recently came across this new beauty-friendly booking software called Yodled, Y-O-T-T-L-E-D. It allows you to transact with your client and it includes all of the features you want from a booking software free to you, I know. They've also worked a way around passing the convenience of using a credit card fee, i.e. those almost 3% credit card fees to your clients. Mm -hmm. If you're intrigued, I'll drop a couple links down in the description box below for you to learn more about this company. A second most efficient feature I used with my booking software, even when I was booked solid, was appointment reminders. And the reason why I keep saying even when I was booked solid, it's because I learned that a lot of people kind of just give up their booking software because they're like, well, it's the same people coming over and over. But hold on, I'm gonna tell you why it's still beneficial for you to keep it. I don't care how booked you are, your client will never stop being human and she will need her reminders to keep on track for the day, just like you and I would. If your booking software can take care of this, booking reminders, you do not have to manually confirm with your client about their appointment. And of course, from 100% experience, I can tell you that not confirming an appointment with clients is a surefire way to occasionally end up with a no-show. Don't run that risk in your business. It is very expensive to you to have a no-show. Make your online booking software efficient by ultimately using one with all the features you need. All right, friends, let's recap those efficient tools one more time. Number one, your nail desk. Number two, a nail e-file. Number three, a content creation mount. Number four, a step-by-step -step system for applying all of your nail services. And number five, a simplified booking software solution. Let me know which one of these efficiency tools you look forward to implementing in your nail business this year by dropping a comment below. Bye for now. Thank you for watching and if you found this video valuable would you do me a favor and give it a thumbs up so that i may help more people do check out the description box below for any current resources and promo codes thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one